All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna quickly talk about that data download on Global from earlier this morning. And basically all we got from it were the assets for the upcoming Int LR Rosé, as well as the Fizz LR Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, who are gonna be part of the top legendary summon banner that's dropping on Global in about two to two and a half days from now. Obviously, it depends on when you're watching this video, but the official release date for both these units, as well as the banner, is July 26th, 2020 at 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, or July 27th at 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Now, if you guys live outside those time zones, you wanna see the conversion to your time zone, you can probably find that on Google just by typing in you know, 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And uh, you can also pop over to the Dokkan Wiki where there's a countdown to the actual, like, exact time the banner drops for, of course, both these LRs. Now, I know most people are already planning to skip this banner completely and skip these units, not because they're not good, because both of them are very, very good units. But the issue is that there's just way bigger things coming up in the near future at the end of August, namely the download celebration that um, is just gonna be much more worth your stones, you know? So uh, I do recommend most people to save their stones for this one and just not summon. And if you guys want a full explanation, I did make a video about it uh, a couple weeks ago, so go check it out somewhere above my head. But uh, yeah, for anybody else that does, you know, genuinely wanna know what the banner looks like, what the units do, and all that stuff, then feel free to keep watching. And we're gonna pop over to the JP banner now for these units. And of course, it could be different when it comes to global, but most likely it's gonna be the exact same banner. And there's of course the two new LRs, the Fizz Broly, who starts off as just a Broly. His TUR is also just Broly. And then the LR becomes Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. And then for the Rosé here, this is his SSR art, this is the TUR, and there is the LR. And the rest of the banner, honestly, for a legendary summon banner, all things considered, is not too bad, okay? So we got Gawasu and Zamasu here, which uh, is a very useful unit, especially for like Super Battle Road and stuff like that, where, you know, the extra defense from their support passive, as well as the dodging, um, can come, re come in really handy. And of course, Paragus and Broly, still a very good support unit for Pure Saiyans and I think joined forces, right? And then for Wrath for Broly, this dude is, I think still, the best general SSR pull unit. You know, like the unit you can pull, a unit you can pull on every single banner. This dude, I think, is still the best with his Extreme Z Awakening. He's just an absolute monster. And uh, of course, these guys, the Super Saiyan God uh, Vegeta, as well as the Super Saiyan God uh, Goku from the Broly movie, they're both still very solid units. This guy can be a good tank. This dude is absolute garbage, but uh, hopefully he'll get a good Extreme Z Awakening in the future. And uh, these Whises also need Extreme Z Awakenings pretty bad, but this Beerus has an easy A, and uh, he's quite solid too. So like I said, for a legendary summon banner, it's not a bad banner, like it's really not, but at the end of the day, it's still a legendary summon banner, which means that it's still not amazing value, especially compared to what's coming very soon after. So there is the banner right there, and we're gonna pop over to the official Dokkan uh, Twitter page where we can take a look at the actual Super Attack animations for both these units. So let me just quickly turn off my music here. And let's start with the Rosé animation. And uh, I gotta say, it's it's really nice. So, hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Tell me that. 
神の怒りの強さがいかほどのものなのかその身に刻み込め So there you go. Those are Rosé's animations. Like I said, man, really, really good. I think it's definitely a tier below, right? Like LR Vegito Blue and LR Blue Gogeta's animations and uh, UI Goku or who else belongs in that category? Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution uh, Goku, uh, Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku as well. Um, yeah, like I, I feel like those are like in a tier of their own. They're like, let's say they're S tier. These two animations for these units, I'd say they're like A tier. They're like one tier below, but still very, very good animations. So there's the Rosé, and let's watch the Broly one as well. Here we go. All right, so there's the Broly animation or Broly Chi Lai and Lemo. And honestly, I actually, I'm a lot more excited like, between the two for the Chi Lai, Broly Chi Lai and Lemo over the Rose because I just feel like we have a good amount of Roses in the game already. You know, like we have the AGL one, we have the STR one, we have the Int Goku Black that turns Rose. And is that it? There might be another one I'm missing, but either way, we have a decent amount already, right? But we only have one Broly Chi Lion Lemo from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, and I feel like the animations are a little bit more unique as well. And um, I don't know, like, I just really like these characters from the movie. So, as far as you know, which one I want more, it's definitely this unit right here. And there's one part of the animation that, like, yeah, this right here that the, the Chi Lion run up. Right? Like, for some reason, it's just super, super smooth, man. It's like such a clean animation. So, props to whoever did that. Um, it looks good. And then, obviously, the KO screen is nice, too, but for a different reason. Okay. So, uh, those are the animations. Let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki now, where we can take a look at the um, details for both of the units. And if you guys already, you know, know what they are or saw them in a previous video where I covered them, then feel free to, you know, be about your day, do something else. But if you guys uh, don't actually know what these guys do and want to know the details right now, then feel free to keep watching. All right. So the leader skill for this Rosé is Future Saga, category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 130% or Extreme Int types key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 100% is 12 key super will greatly raise defense for one turn and cause colossal damage and the 18 key greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and then the passive is attack and defense plus 66 percent plus an additional attack plus six percent each time key rises by one up to 120 percent so basically um, he's getting six percent for every key that the uh, rose has up to a maximum of 20 key or 120% attack but with the way that it's calculated since each attack 
boost is calculated separately, you can actually max out at 265.2% attack at, uh, at 20 key, which is pretty insane. And then you also recover, oh sorry, you also get key plus two with each final blow delivered up to six, and then recovers 6% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was, was received. And then the active skill is a rage mechanic, which can be activated when HP is 66% or less, starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle, once only. And in his enraged form, he essentially is immortal for one turn. His attack stat is crazy, so at base, like you know, with uh, no dupes, it's 50,000, but at rainbow status, 65,000. And the 18 key and the 12 key both cause destructive damage. And his passive in this form is key plus one in addition per key sphere obtained, and then attacks effective against all types. Okay, so that is the rose right there. Obviously, a very good unit, especially offensively, defensively. Um, he can be decent if he supers first, but definitely is uh, not as impressive as his damage output. And uh, overall, a really good unit. Definitely would want him, but as I said, we have a decent amount of Rosés in the game. I don't really need him, at least not right now, but I do really want this Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. Their leader skill is movie bosses, category key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. Or extreme fizz types key plus four HP attack and defense plus a hundred percent super attack twelve key will greatly raise defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers attack and the eighteen key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage the passive is attack and defense plus fifteen percent per key sphere obtained plus an additional attack and defense plus five percent and key plus two per key sphere obtained with two or more fizz key spheres obtained. And then all allies attack plus 39% with two or more AGL or STR key spheres obtained. And then all allies defense plus 39% with two or more tech or int key spheres obtained. And evades enemies attack, including super attack, with seven or more key spheres obtained. So the reason I really want this guy is, I mean, first of all, like I said, I really like the characters. I really like the dynamic of this group. But at the same time, their passive is just super unique. And it does different things depending on what type of orb you give them. And that guaranteed dodge with seven or more key spheres is pretty insane. And uh, that's the unit right there. That's the Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. The only issue I would say is um, they only have two categories, which means they only fit on two category teams. So their team building potential is a little bit limited. But, uh, you know, that aside, really awesome unit. And that is pretty much the video, guys. I know, you know, the animations and the details here were covered in previous videos, but I just wanted to make sure that anybody who, you know, recently discovered the channel and didn't get a chance to see the other videos can uh, still be up to date with, you know, all this stuff, right? But the main thing we got from this data download is that these guys are coming. We got the official release time now. And, uh, you know, regardless of all the stuff I said before about how I feel like most people should skip, I'm personally not skipping, so I will be doing a stream as soon as the banners drop at um, 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on July 26th or 1 a.m., which is actually the actual time for me, 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on July 27th. So if you guys can make it, then make sure to be there. Otherwise, um, you can watch the video after okay so that is today's video thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys are excited for whatever's coming next whether it's this banner or part three of the anniversary or the download celebration at the end of august either way we still got some um we got still got a lot of good stuff coming for global in the near future so um you know things shouldn't be too dry or too long all right so that's it. That is the video. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. 
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.